Hey everybody, this is Coffee Chug, video two of the new newsletter format in which I'm talking about the books that I've been reading each week. I just got back from vacation in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We spent a week there, um, drove 998.3 miles yesterday, got home at midnight. Um, so trying to recharge the batteries, get organized, put stuff away, all that good stuff. But I want to take time, as I did last week, to talk about the books that I read. I did do some reading. I'm actually knee deep in about three different books right now, but I did accomplish um, some books that I read from start to finish. And so if I could start bouncing back on a book that I talked about last week in the newsletter and also in the video, was this Beyond Training by Ben Greenfield. Um, and not just to show you plans on how to run and do endurance events and triathletes and triathlons and things of that nature, but I talked about the nutrition and the lifestyle habits and things that he talks about in great detail. And everything is covered. And I bookmarked so many of these, and I talked about how great it was. But I just want to show you that I'm a man of my word, and I actually bought the hardcover of it. And so I know that goes against maybe the declutter project that I'm doing. I'm trying to eliminate stuff. But this is a book that I know I'm going to reread time and time again, highlight, read the websites, go to the links, continue to pull back information, and go back and study it, and probably use it as part of my decot detox and decaffeinated project um, to make my life healthy because that's something that I really need to do is get back in shape and quality fitness. And so I wanted to prove that not did I just read it and check it out from the library, but it was so good that I bought a copy. I'm bringing this back up because I talked about it last week, but just again, this book is so good. I've spent a lot of time rereading it on vacation because I've been using some quotes and passages for a book that I've been reading because I, I feel that this has links and philosophies not just to life, but also to education. And so I've been going back, rereading the book again, and pulling out the highlights and bookmarks that I that I made the first time, and trying to make some connections to my life and education. And I realized that I, I missed even more key parts after the first time, when I probably already highlighted 60% of the book. So what did I read on vacation besides rereading stuff that I had already read the week before? Well, I'm really getting into this awareness, being in the moment, calm, peaceful mindsets, and it's really kind of take over a little bit. So I went back. One of the guys I always watch YouTube videos and listen to quite a bit is Alan Watts, and so I read this very short read, What is Zen? It's just part of his um, some speech, speaking or things that he did in seminars um, of his words, and that doesn't go into real depth on anything, which I like, which is good, I guess, as he says, for the Western mind. Um, but some really key parts that I thought stood out um, that I really, really liked. And so I like the very first sentence, which is um, introduction by Mark Watts. And he says, Zen's the method of rediscovering the experience of being alive. And not to get goofy, I'm not planning on being a Buddhist, um, but this is kind of the path that I'm on, rediscovering what it means to be alive and to get away from the habits and ideas that I think are important that really aren't in the big scheme of things. I'm just wasting my life here um, on this planet and need to be more connected with the important things around me. So a great read. It really makes you rethink some things. I mean, some parts you probably want to skip if you're not into the whole Zen mindset piece. But some things about, once again, life and the philosophy of how you think about life. And you could read this easily in a couple hours. Um, wasn't planned. I had heard that this book was funny called uh, Unfriending My Ex. And and other things I'll never do. And so I decided to read it because I, I like a lighthearted read. I didn't want to think too much while sitting on the beach. This is actually about a um, woman, Kim Stoltz. I don't know if I said her name right, um, but reality television stars and things like that. But she also did a social media experiment where she shut down, didn't use internet and Facebook, things like that. Um, and she talks about it in a bunch of other research. And so I actually found this very useful during my own detox um, to connect and compare stories. My things aren't quite as severe because nobody really cares about what I share about. But this was a good read, a funny read, and does get you thinking about the implications of social media um, and how we share and have basically our life be an open book and whether that's worth it or not. So um, another light, easy read, but definitely gives you some good, good information. And in the back, there's a bunch of notes of all the different articles and stuff she um, links to in the book. So um, a worthwhile read it just came out um, and, and pretty good. So those were the two that I that I completed. 
And I've got about three more that I hope to wrap up. I'm taking notes on and trying to piece those together as we speak. And so once again, reach out. Let me know what you're reading, suggestions you have. And I look forward to uh, sharing with you what I've read in the upcoming seven days. Take care, everybody. I'm out.